So you're a teacher and a kickboxer. How do you manage? What do you do as a teacher? As a teacher, I teach uh, health and physical education to kids who have some sort of learning disability, behavioral problems, um, physical disabilities. So I teach phys ed to kids um, who kind of wouldn't succeed in a regular high school. So they need that guidance and I'm glad to be you know, this role model that can show these kids no matter what situation you're in in life. Um, you know, you can dream big and it's important to keep dreaming big and kind of trying to accomplish your goals. He's a high school teacher. He has to go in early in the morning, teach all day. And then when most people are going home after their long day at work and they're having dinner ready, Joe's just finishing up his second full-time job, which is training. And at the end of the day, it's, it's where I want to be. I want to be known as uh, like a guy like Ernesto Hoos or Raymond Deckers and I want to be known as the best kickboxer in the world. That kind of a work ethic is extremely rare. You can't find that in just anyone. Um, you can find a lot of people that can pick up skills or become extremely athletic, but to find that kind of heart in somebody is, is, is a once in a lifetime kind of thing. world champion, seven-time Belgian champion, an impressive professional record of 69 wins, 16 losses, two draws, 57 big knockouts on that career record. You know, he's got uh, eight times more the amount of fights than Paul Delaney has. So it, that, it's been a while I saw that combination. He loves to fight in close, which oh. is very smart. Directly brawling his way in. Landing significant shots on Baltolini. And he's very good on close distance. Oh, there he lands the first one. Now let's see what Baltolini can do with it. One minute left. Baltolini still firing back and taking shots. And taking hard shots. Ooh, and now we had him. That's Ooh, a knockdown I right believe there. It. Oh, Baltolini chopping back. Basically taking care of business later in this round, number one. Wow. Great first round. Great first round, and I think that Valvolini is the more fresher one now going into number two. To give you an idea of Direxi and his legacy, he owns a knockout win over Albert Krauss. That in itself would tell you this man would be dangerous, especially with punches. Yep. Baltolini is really using a lot of great combinations. He's always ending with that low kick. Yeah, yeah the rescue's very tired. Oh! Here we go. Knocked down with a head kick. Exactly. You know, making the direction the direction you think that's an eye one again, puts the defense up. And they throw in the towel. Yeah, they throw in the towel. That's in the very smart corner. You know, you're saving the fighter's face. You really do. Joseph Baltolini comes all the way over from Toronto and beats a legend in Murat Direxi in the third round. Wow.
first round. It's a division jab low kick game so far. Impressive how Valtellini, with only a handful of fights, is working with such a veteran like Gaggi. He's used to facing guys with plenty of experience. I like Bazooka Joe's attitude. He doesn't want to take 50 fights to become the best in glory. He wants to take 15, he said. Not go down, but now he is in danger of doing so. Valtellini putting on the pressure with those left hooks. A knee to the middle, and now Gaggi trying to hold on. Eats a head kick, and the referee steps in and wipes off the fight on this Canadian Thanksgiving weekend. Gaji was a fight of showing the world that no matter how much experience someone has, uh, I'm a better kickboxer. The very busy as Gaji's glove touched the canvas. Now he is in danger of doing so. Valdellini putting on the pressure with those left hooks. A knee to the middle and now Gaji trying to hold on. People thought I didn't have a chance and I've been an underdog in all of my fights and it was just another opportunity for me to show the world that I am one of the best kickboxers in the world. Going into the finals, we both would have fought before, and it comes down to who wants it more. I want it more. I want people to watch this sport and to be hooked. Raymond Daniels, you're standing in the way of my dream. Nothing personal, it's just business. Well, I gotta tell you, he's a fun fighter to watch as well as cerebral. You normally don't see a guy who's got an intelligent style and aggressive. He is the guy that can actually do that. And he is known as a bazooka because he likes blasting people out. And that was the beginning of a long, hard road that saw the younger Daniels earn his own black belt 17 years later. American fans may recognize Daniel for his run in Chuck Norris's World Cup. Daniels has a unique style. It comes from point karate. In point karate, it's all about scoring and not getting hit. What Daniels is doing, that's called blitzing in point karate tournaments. He'll slide in, score quick, and move and not get hit. And it's very hard for people to deal with because they're not used to fighting someone like that. Underdogs all emerged victorious. Another effective knee strikes in the clinch. Under a minute left in the opening. You got to throw more. You need output to make things land. The white gloves, he connects with the inside. Side low kick. Nice. Again, that side kick by Daniels comes at you at all kinds of where the dervish of kicks. What Joseph needs to do is not back up. If he doesn't back up, he doesn't give Daniels room to do that. It's his ground. He's got to back Daniels up and he'll control this fight. The 33-year-old Daniels with more than double the perfect. 
starting to gun him down with those low kicks. You can see that Daniels is not moving as good. He's moving a little gingerly. There again, he's out. That's it. Seen our previous glory events. The Japanese audience very respectful. Bellini very proud of his Italian heritage. In fact, it was his father, Emilio. As a young boy, they used to watch movies like Kickboxer, Bloodsport, and Rocky together. And Emilio really gave his son every opportunity to succeed in the martial arts. And he's made the trip to Japan as he watches his son deliver a couple of left hooks to the body. Daniels goes down following that kick. And referee waves off the fight. It'll be the number two ranked Valdolini against the number one ranked Holtzkin in what should be a sensational final later tonight. Gloves. This is insane. They're just standing in front of each other trading shots. They're both, you know, drawing a line in the sand going, who's the best? These guys are just trading shots. I'm so excited for this fight. I mean, uh, touch and then rip. Canelo's really good at that. And again, Joe's not going anywhere though. What a fight. Just through the guard. Terrific welterweight tournament final. Man, he's hit this guy with the kitchen sink. This guy's not going down. This is what the sport's all about. Glory, man. No guts, no glory. Stay in there and go for it. But the jab pops his head back one more time. Unbelievable action here between Valtellini and Holtzkin. This is just crazy. They're just standing here going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Right hand of the rising sun. We are bearing witness to the fortunes rising for one. Who is going to walk away with the one? Subline, spectacular high. New glory, world welterweight champion Joseph Fontalini.
lot of people want things. And this is what I tell my kids, this is what I tell people who ask me for advice. It's like people, you know, dream big and they want this and they say they want something, but you really have to believe. So if you have a dream, you know, it's never big enough. And no matter what you do, you have to do something every day to accomplish that goal.